Hey everybody, it's Michael here with goodereader.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks on the Kobo Glow e-reader. This is the latest device the company's put out. The big hyping factor is that it actually has, as you can see here, a glowing screen. allows you to read in the dark. It's fairly solid. The purpose of this tutorial is to basically show you all the different ways that you can copy ebooks and manage your ebook library. In a lot of cases, people just don't have one or two books, but you have 10, 50, 100, or if you're a voracious reader like I am, you literally have thousands of books. Adobe Digital Editions is often best used to facilitate data transfer to your Kobo Glow that you have purchased from other bookstores. Caliber is a free open source program. It allows you to change cover art, authors' names, and a whole lot more. And I'm going to teach you how to use Dropbox as well as Windows Explorer. First program is Caliber. It's a free open source download. It offers probably the most flexibility out of any PC ebook management tool out there. You can simply Google for it. I'm adding a book. So what I did is I left clicked, selected the book wherever it may have lurked on my computer. I see it here. This is a sample of Reflected in You by Sylvia Day. And if you have an older version of Caliber on your PC, it may not necessarily recognize the Kobo Glow, so I'd recommend that you at least get 0.9.1. If you download it for the first time, you'll be downloading the most recent build of it, and it will recognize the Kobo Glow. You'll, rec you'll know that it's recognized when under device it's showing up here. Okay, so what we want to do is we have a book here in our library, and I'm going to just show you briefly a few things that you can do with Caliber, which is r really why it's so awesome. You can left click, select edit metadata, and then edit metadata individually. And you see here a lot of information on the book title, author, series, cover art. You see there's no tags or IDs. Let's say that you've downloaded a few books from the internet. In a lot of cases, it's not showing cover art. Maybe the book uploader's name is in a title. Maybe the author's name and book name are in the title. And if you have different books, say you have like five or ten books, and they are all titled differently, the author's name is different, maybe the author's name is the book uploader's name, and so it becomes unmanageable if you're searching alphabetically for an author's name or a book title it it's it's pretty well reason why you want to get caliber here so let's just say that i really want it to be reflected in you and i don't want a crossfire novel there so i can change that but you notice the title source showing up in red if i simply click this arrow turns green everything's basically all good let's say that you want to change the cover art or you want to add some tags Maybe the summary is, doesn't exist. You can click on download at metadata, but you can only download the metadata once you have the proper title and author's name, or I won't be able to you know, search Amazon or Google for the correct book. So you see here it found some stuff. I'm going to click next. So I'm getting it from either Amazon or Google. I'll select Amazon. Now it's added tags, it's added ISBN numbers, it's changed some of the book synapse here with all of the you know book description and comments from the Amazon website. So we're going to click OK because we're happy with all those settings. Now there's two ways to send the book to your Kobo Glow from Caliber. If you've made changes like I have, you probably want to right click, send a disk or sorry, send a device and then send to the main memory. What this is doing is this is copying the saved ebook that I've just edited and have sent it directly to my Kobo Glow. Let's say that you're happy with the cover art and you have, you know, a number of books and you know they're all good, you just want to copy them to the Glow. You can click on device, add books, select the books on your computer, you can add them and it'll copy directly to the Glow. The next program I want to show you is Adobe Digital Editions. This is version 2.0. If you're wondering why your version looks different than mine and you already have this, you want to 
upgrade to 2.0 by downloading it. In a lot of cases, the older versions won't automatically upgrade to 2.0. And if you do do a fresh install, you do have to install uninstall manually the older version. So a, a lot of users have written us saying, I've downloaded the new Adobe Digital, Digital Editions 2.0 and nothing's working. You have to uninstall the old version first. You see here, here's the Kobo Glow. If you look at the device, you can see a number of books we have on it. What I'm going to do is add a book that we've purchased. You can see it's here. Simply just drag and drop. That's easy as pie, folks, and that's what you want to do with books that you borrowed from the library, and maybe you don't have, you know, you don't really know what to do. This is the best way to do it. Same if you've uh, bought cheap books in EPUB format from like Sony, Google Books, Barnes & Noble, and so on, and you've actually paid money for the books, and they have digital rights management or basically ebook encryption. This is the primary reason why you want to use Adobe Digital Editions. A tried, tested, and true method for copying books to your device. Good old Windows Explorer. Really no guidance needed here. You simply just highlight the book from like your desktop. I just copied it. Now I'm just clicking paste. It's best to always put the books in the main directory. I've noticed when I've created alternative directories, or maybe people will say, hey, this is a dark Kobo. I should put things in here. You should not. You should create directories, or you should just drag and drop them into the root folder here. It's the path of least resistance. It's the way that I recommend it. Finally, there's Dropbox. Dropbox is a very cool program. It or tool, rather. It's basically thought of as online storage in the cloud. Because the Kobo Glow has Wi-Fi and an internet browser, and this is found under Settings, Extras, and then Browser, it'll allow you to access pages on the web. If you create a Dropbox account, which is totally free and allows you to store up to thousands of books with not having to ever pay them anything, you can access the books that you copy here on any laptop, PC, Mac, tablet, slate, iPad, anything, even most phones that have apps that can read books. You can think of it as if I copy a book here, I could access it on any device. There's, I don't have to copy and paste it. I don't have to use Calibre. I could just use my internet browser, click on the book, and it'll automatically download your Kobo Glow and allow you to read it. You can see here if I selected a book, right? Fairly easy. And I can just download it to my PC if I wanted to, if I highlight it like this. If you want to register an account, go for it. I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's really, really easy. But what I will show you to do is once you've logged into your account, this will be the default screen. You can see here a number of directories we have here. Well, hey, I want to just upload a file. I can click on Add More Files. All right, so it's uploaded the file just like that. Click done. There it is on your Dropbox account. Every way that I showed you is perfectly viable. And like anything with e-readers, there's more than one way of being able to do it. One way offers a lot of flexibility to change the cover art, the title, and metadata. Another uh, program, Adobe Digital Editions, works well from books you borrowed from the library, books that you've bought from online websites that have DRM. Dropbox is perfect for any book that you download from the internet, text, EPUB, anything. You could even use it with Kindles if you wanted to. Windows Explorer, it's what most people are used to when they copy books. It just it obviously gives you the least amount of freedom out there. Leave a comment on our, this YouTube video if you have any questions or concerns. I will endeavor to answer them as quickly as we can. Uh, if you're reading this on 
other websites or other, you know, services, youtube.com slash goody reader or our main website at goodyreader.com for all of your e-reader tutorials, reviews, and a whole lot more. So for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael and everybody take care.